As you can tell, Boss does not like to get out of bed early. Boss also doesn't like to get out of bed when it's 27 degrees Fahrenheit. What up guys, your boy BZ, back again with another video. It's way too early, but you know what they say, man. If you wanna get it, you gotta get up earlier than everybody else. You gotta, you gotta go out there and work harder than everybody else. And I can't quite say that's what I'm doing because there's a million people out right now, but I am up early and I'm working hard as fuck today. As you guys have could tell already, I have posted a video every single day this week. Um, it's honestly like the hardest thing to do um, considering I run a business and I can't imagine people that post multiple videos a day or post like 20 minute long vlogs every day on top of having a life. So I'm going to keep it going man. 20, 2017 New Year's resolution is to grow this channel. Um, I want to have like, I don't know, 10,000 subs. I, I, I have modest I'll say, in my life, I have very, like, high hopes. I, I work towards very large goals. Everything I do is, like, for the, the most fantastic result ever. But for this channel, I have very modest goals because it's not really about crazy numbers and it's not really about money. It's, it's about finding a, enough people on this channel in the world that um, resonate with me as a human. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that I resonate with and I kind of wanted to be that like source of inspiration for a core group of people that, that, that are like me, that are go-getters, that work hard, that might have, might or may, may or may not have come from absolutely nothing. Oh shit, here we go. Okay, but people who come from the bottom and they want to do something with themselves and, and hopefully that's you guys. I, I see the comments, I, I read the messages and yeah, I just want to keep building this up, man. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I have a very modest subscriber goal of 10,000 subscribers. I don't know, by like March maybe, if people like me. Okay guys, so I'm sitting here in this parking lot, there's a blizzard happening, and I thought it would be a good idea to get this questions and answers video out of the way. I have uh, some free time, so why not answer a few of the questions that you guys left on the Twitter, Instagram, the last video, Facebook. These are just like a combination of questions that I've received from you guys over the times. And uh, let's get into the first question. Where do you see at Beyond Royal going in the next five to ten years and that's a huge question um i don't even know the brand grows every single year quite quite at like a, a steady exponential pace so i'm not too sure where the brand is going to be hopefully it's just growing and when i see an opportunity i can either take or pass there's a near accident guys as i see opportunities it's like um, when you play the game Frogger, right? And you see opportunities to keep moving forward in the level. And if you stay in one spot too long, the lily pad's gonna sink or the car is gonna hit you. That's how I look at a lot of things in life. If you have a shirt design or you're doing something in life that's paying you and you're just staying there, staying there, it might be a week, it might be 10 years, but someday that lily pad is gonna fall or that car is gonna hit you and you're not gonna succeed. So when I do these things, I like to keep it moving. So as long as I'm progressing, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, next question. Where will Epion Royal be traveling this summer? Maybe I'll just say this year, cause I don't even know, honestly. We will be doing Warp Tour. Um, we may do more dates than we did last year. We may do less dates. Uh, general, generally, we do like four to seven days of Warp Tour. So we're gonna figure that out. So we'll definitely be on the Vans Warp Tour. 
we have a few other events that we're going to participate in. Last year we did um, Yumacon, which was a, a really good thing for us. So we'll be doing that again this year. And then there's also Detroit Comic Con. And we'll be doing that. Hopefully, uh, if our application get a, gets approved or they didn't sell out of space. Other than that, out of state places, I want to go to a lot of places. Like, I want to travel with Epion Royal like every other week. But it's, it's all about growing the awareness in different states. Uh, we do sell a ton of clothes online to different states. We sell a ton of clothes online to different countries. Um, but I don't know if we have that following enough to where if we go somewhere far away, that people will be there and they'll want to buy stuff from us, they'll want to hang out with us. I see a lot of people on Warp Tour um, that like want to chill and want to buy stuff. But that's Warp Tour. It's like a very concentrated group of people. But if you guys do have suggestions as to where we can go this summer, like any cool events, especially in Detroit, in the, like in all of Michigan, maybe in like your state, if there's something cool that Epion Royal should go to to sell clothes, let your boy know. Next question. What is the hardest thing about running your own clothing company? And this question is kind of, I don't know if it's an easy question to answer or a hard question to answer. Because I think running any business has the same trials and tribulations. It's almost like a lot of different businesses, they all have the same or similar problems. For Epion Royal, it's more about just staying consistent staying busy when you feel like you don't want to work no more just keep working um, keeping up with trends and then deciding which trends are like which trends even resonate with your brand you know like if there's a pink flamingo t-shirt trend uh, I don't know if that goes with our brand so it's like you got to pick which ones you think are cool which ones you think are ass and go with the ones you like and ignore the ones you dislike and sometimes in a lot of companies cases that shit puts brands out of business brands that refuse to to even accept any trend brands that refuse to grow as like style grows this is a a style oriented company this is an aesthetically oriented company you got to be all about style i love shoes i love clothes i love music i love life so for me it's like i'm always on top of fashion and you know i might not do the drop crotch sweatpants but i like the joggers so you just got to pick which ones speak to you and which ones you want to ignore altogether all right guys so um back at the office I'm just gonna finish this Q&A here. Uh, I'm gonna answer a few more questions. I know this video is not gonna be super duper long. I promise we will get into a much longer Q&A in the near future. But one of the questions I get asked most is, are you guys hiring? And now this question is a little tricky to answer because I think a lot of people who are asking it, they're not asking it from the perspective of somebody that has like a specific talent and oh, I'm a designer and I can lend my skills to your business and my design style is so similar to what you guys do. I can be an asset to your company. Most of the time it's not like that. Um, most of the time it's more of somebody who is just looking for somewhere to go that's not McDonald's that can sit around and do something for eight hours a day and collect a check. And in companies like this, those those jobs don't exist they they don't exist at all in companies like this you have to have a skill you have to have, be an asset you have to be valuable if you don't bring value to a company not just at beyond royal but any company that's a big ass dope something out of the ordinary you have to be an asset you have to come with a this is what i bring to the table and this is what i hope to take from the table because you don't just bring shit to the table you eat at the table too so you got to bring some food and you're gonna get some food from other people so and this goes for anybody I'm down to look at resumes I'm down to talk about employment but you have to say hey my name is Ralph 
and I'm I'm a fucking boss ass salesperson. I can sell snow to an igloo. And then I'll be like, damn, let me see what, how, back that up. Where have you worked? What have you done? Then I can start being like, is Ralph worth it? Can I afford Ralph? Is Ralph going to make the business enough money to afford Ralph plus some for the company? So, I mean, I'm looking all the time, but reality is like, it's hard to find people that have something specific that they bring to the table. Someday we will have just random people that all they do is pack orders, so all we need are hands to put stuff into boxes. Someday. But that day is not today. We sell a lot of stuff, but we don't sell enough stuff to just keep somebody around it. The only thing they do is pack orders and collect a check. And that's not just for my company, that's for a lot of companies out there. You have to bring value. And it's like, it's. I know a lot of people, they're destined to just work a job. They don't need to bring a value, they just do the job that they're told, pack those fucking groceries, and get out of here. But in in a profession like this, especially if you're gonna be an entrepreneur or you wanna do an internship, you gotta be like, yo, I'm a boss ass photographer. Your brand's photography is lacking. I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna make all your photography the fucking most beautiful, buttery, crisp photography you've ever seen. Then I'll be like, oh shit. Maybe I need Ralph's photography. I got to see what Ralph could do. If Ralph makes beautiful art, then I could go, oh, fuck. If I don't have art like this, if my photos aren't this beautiful, I'm going to lose money. I need him on the team. And that's how it works. Bring value and let them know exactly what you want. If you want X amount of dollars a year, let them know. But you better be, better be bringing at least double what X amount is. You want 100 grand a year? You want 50 grand a year? Well, if you want 50 grand salary, you better be bringing $100,000 in revenue to the company or else you're unaffordable. But yeah, bring value, have skills. Okay, so another question I get asked a lot, it's a question that I answer a lot, but there's new people on this channel every single day, so I gotta answer it again and again. And the question is, are you sponsoring skateboarders and BMX and scooters and rollerbladers and master pogo assassins? And the answer is yes, of course. I'm always looking for new skaters, new bikers, new new people that just do dope shit. If you're in a mus music group or whatever, but let's keep it to like the athlete type of thing. The athletes are a little different than musicians. Here's the thing, athletes, skaters, bikers. If you say, hey, I wanna ride for Epion Royal and you're a skater, right? Then I'm gonna say, hey, are you a customer? And you're gonna go, yeah, I have a video wearing your clothes, let me send it to you. I'll be like, hell yeah, let me see that. You spent some money on the brand, you sp spent some time and money and love on our brand, let me take my time out, let me take the guy's time out and let's see your stuff. If you're dope, let's figure something out. If, you, if you're if you starting out and you got some work to do, I'm gonna let you know, hey, keep rocking with us, keep working on your skills. Right now it's not gonna work. Let me give you this discount code. Let me toss a free shirt in your next order. But as of right now, we can't do anything for you. And that's a reality, but I don't want you to take that as like something to, to let you down, you know? That's more of like something to put you on the right path. <clears throat> the other answer is, hey, can I get sponsored? And say, hey, uh, do you currently wear our clothes? And then somebody goes, nah, I don't have any because I just found out about you guys yesterday. So I don't own anything. But I have a whole lot of old clips wearing um, Diamond Supply Co. Or whatever brand, no shade, no shade to Diamond, but whatever brand it is. And I'm going to say, you know, like, how does that show that you want to ride for us? Like, you're not rocking our clothes. It doesn't really tell us that you like us. It doesn't tell us that you want to be a part of us. It tells us that you just found out and you're like, oh, hopefully I could get some free shit from this brand. Or, oh, this brand is a smaller company. Maybe they'll give me free shit. <coughs> That's not how it works. 
Okay, and a very lame question that I get, that I've answered, I get it all the time, is do you live off of the money that you make from Epion Royal? Is this my only source of income? And the answer is, hell yeah, because this is what I do every day. This is what I do all day long. Of course I live off this money. Of course this is my main source of income. This is my passion. I've been doing this since 2009, full time, full throttle, having offices, having people around, doing things, going to different states, uh, getting, getting detained at the Canadian border. That's the story for another time. Let me know in the comments if you want to hear about that one because that one's pretty fucking crazy. Let me know if you want to hear about that. But this is a whole different thing. It's like, of course I live off this. You know, am I filthy rich, dripping in like soldier boy fake diamonds? Nah, I'm not filthy rich. Like, I don't know if I even want to be. Like, I just want to have a good family that that's paid for, man. I want my I want my family to live good. I want to be well off. I don't want to be poor my whole life. Like, I grew up poor. You know what I'm saying? Single parent home. Dad wasn't around. So it was just my mom earning every penny for the house, two other siblings. I couldn't raise three kids right now. And I can bet I was making more money than my mom was when she was raising three kids in the 90s. So I, I have to bust my ass. My mom worked so hard to give me this opportunity to be this person. I have to make something of myself. And if I'm only making enough money to cover my shit, then I'm failing. It's, it's not worth it if I'm not making money for my mom family my girl my dog i want to have kids too so i don't have kids yet but i want to but i can't have kids under these circumstances and i want my kids to have the life that my mom worked hard to set me up for the, if that makes any sense to you guys i know a lot of you guys maybe you are poor maybe you come from where i come from Y'all know I don't like to drag these videos out, so I'm gonna hop off of this. I got a lot of stuff to do today, so I'm gonna edit this video, put it up, and hopefully you guys appreciate it. If you did, please hit that like button. Please, uh, even better than the like button, please leave a comment down below. If you like this video, I wanna know that you liked it, because if you liked it, I wanna make a lot more like this video so that you are entertained, educated, and that you have a better understanding of me, because I want a better understanding of you guys. It's your boy BZ signing out. Stay fucking royal. Make the most out of this year. No excuses, let's get it. Peace.